Yo, what's up world? Welcome back to the channel, APW Sports signing in, and today we are going to cover the New York Jets. The New York Jets owned the number two overall pick after going 2-14 in the 2020 season, so the question arises: what should they do at the quarterback position? Should they keep Sam Darnold, or should they draft Justin Fields with the number two overall pick? But before I get into my thoughts on this topic, be sure you guys leave a like on this video, and if you are brand new to the channel and you are a football fan and you love football content, this is the place to be. So go ahead right now, click that subscribe button, and also click that notification bell so you will not miss a single video. But let's dive into this topic. Without further ado, let's dive into it. I'm striving to get rich. That's why I almost went two years without buying shoes and fits. Things change now. My mom hearing me when my music and she look a little proud. The Jets selected Sam Darnold number three overall in the 2018 NFL Draft. The Jets have not been a successful franchise during Sam Darnold's tenure, but do we pin that all on Sam Darnold? I don't think so. Even though Sam Darnold has struggled with turnovers, Sam Darnold has struggled with some accuracy issues. I don't think the failures of the Jets are necessarily all on Sam Darnold. Number one, I think they failed to develop him. Adam Gase was not the right choice for the head coach and making him GM really, really took this franchise downward. The Jets had some potential to be a contending team. They had some potential to be one of those teams that is on an upswing. But I feel with making Adam Gates the GM and the head coach, that really, really hurt not only just Sam Darnold. I really feel that hurt the Jets as an entire football team. Now, am I am going to be a guy that's going to call Sam Darnold a bust? No. I still think he has some potential. I still think he can get things together. I still think he can prove himself to be one of the good quarterbacks in the NFL. Now, I'm not going to say he's going to be elite or play on that elite level or anything like that. But I really feel he has been screwed a little bit by the Jets franchise by not surrounding him with the necessary pieces to be successful, especially at the wide receiver position. They haven't really had a consistent running game throughout the course of his tenure as the quarterback. So when you look at this Jets organization throughout the course of Sam Darnold's tenure, you can't really blame the failures of Sam Darnold and the Jets exclusively on Darnold. There are other attributing factors. The organization has not been very good. The Jets defensively has been, let's say, an up and down. They did trade Jamal Adams this offseason, which he was the best player on your football team, if you want to be 100% honest. And you did sign Le'Veon Bell and C.J. Mosley to big deals, which necessarily did not play out for this franchise. So when you look entirely at Sam Darnold's tenure as the quarterback of the Jets, he struggled. Yes, he's had some accuracy issues. He's had some turnover issues. He has some decision-making issues. Yes, those are all true. But when you look deeply into this Jets football team and in this organization, to say that Sam Donald is a bust based on his play, to say that Sam Donald is a bust based on the team not being able to be successful, I am not one of those people that's going to put everything on Sam Donald. So if the Jets wound up for some reason keeping Sam Donald, that is something I am not going to be against. That's actually something I could agree with because when you look at this franchise now, it's not in a state to win right away. So even if they were to keep Sam Donald around, I don't think it would be a bad move. You still have a lot of other needs to obtain to. Quarterback is a need, but if you keep Sam Donald around and you develop him with Robert Solid is now the head coach, you can still get some really good things out of Sam Donald. Now, there have been a lot of rumors thrown around this offseason involving the Jets around Deshaun Watson. Even though Deshaun Watson, let's face it, he's definitely a top five quarterback in the NFL. He's in his prime. He can definitely take this Jets franchise to a different direction. But do you really think getting him in this Jets organization with so many holes all over the place, so many positions that they need to fill, do you think Deshaun Watson could be the guy that solves all their problems? Now, granted, he's going to make them into a better football team, but even with trading for Deshaun Watson, I don't think this Jets football team is winning right away. They still have a lot of developing to do. 
And will Deshaun Watson be able to put up with an organization that's not really so good where he wants to win now? He's won some games in Houston. He's won divisions in Houston. So will he be willing to sacrifice some of that winning for the long haul for the New York Jets? It remains to be seen. But if I were the New York Jets, I would take that number two overall pick and I would draft Justin Fields. Now, I'm not saying this to be biased because I am a Ohio State fan and I love the things that Justin Fields would be able to do. But I really feel that you can trade Sam Donald. You can get some value for him because I still think Sam Donald could be a productive quarterback in this league. I don't think he's a bust. It's not all on him. But this Jets organization is in no position to win now. I think the best bet for the Jets to do, I think it's best for them to draft Justin Fields let him be that guy to develop. Even if he does play right away, I don't think the Jets organization is going to have that pressure on Justin Fields to necessarily have to win now. So even if he does play, he can take that, he can develop, he can learn in the NFL. I think they will probably sign a bridge quarterback in there to A, even compete for the starting job, or B, be a quarterback that can help Justin Fields develop. I think Justin Fields, outside of Trevor Lawrence, has the most upside as far as the quarterback position goes in this NFL draft. And with the Jacksonville Jaguars only the number one overall pick, it's just basically putting permanent marker that the Jacksonville Jaguars are going to draft Trevor Lawrence. So I think the best option for the New York Jets to do is to draft Justin Fields, let him develop. Don't put that pressure on your organization or your coaching staff to win right away. Let the guys that you have develop. Take some of those draft picks and fix some other needs. You can get some other needs through free agency now that you're gone from Le'Veon Bell's big contract. You still have to have some wide receivers to surround him. You still have to have a decent running back because Frank Gore, let's just face it, is on his last legs in his career. You still have to fill holes within your offensive line. Even though Makai Becton, I feel he can develop into one of the better offensive linemen that the NFL has. You still have a lot of holes on your defense, even if C.J. Mosley does come back after opting out due to COVID. Either way it goes, I still don't think Deshaun Watson in the fold for the Jets would be the best move. I think the best move is drafting Justin Fields, letting him develop, even if he doesn't play, letting him take his lumps, and use that to grow towards the future. Do not put so much pressure on your new coaching staff to have to sit here and compete right away with the roster that, let's face it, just went 2-14. So you, there's only to go up from here. But even with Deshaun Watson, you're not going to go too far up. So drafting fields and probably signing a bridge quarterback to help guide fields or play a spot for fields, I think will be the best move for the New York Jets going into 2021 and going into the future. But that is all I have for you guys today. Be sure to leave a like on the video if you enjoyed it. Be sure to comment your thoughts down below. What do you think the New York Jets should do with the quarterback position? If you have gotten to the point of this video and you are not subscribed, go right here now and click that subscribe button and also click the notification bell so you will not miss a single video. But I am APW Sports signing out. Make sure you guys stay safe. Have a great next Sunday and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.